firm commitment to your rising public declaration in national private law. Elements to create a binding effect. The corporate codes are, are an almost paradigmatic example of how private sectors by their own means manage to establish norm system of considerable binding effect. Private law is confronted with uncertainty. First, it can either enforce or refuse to enforce the corporate codes. Second, it can furthermore options for applying the rules on legal liability. And third, unfair commercial practices law to the event of publicly declaring compliance with the code or leave them in a realm of voluntariness. Elements to create a binding effect. The, number one, details about the offer. The first element of a valid contract is the offer. The promise is made by one party exchange for the other party's promise. A promise can include the intent to perform an action or to refrain from doing something. Once an offer is made, it creates the power of acceptance in the selected recipient. At this point, the other party can accept or terminate the offer. Number two, a clearance acceptance. It is important for a contract to show that the offeree fully accepts the term. Specifically, the offeree must show that he or she unequivocally assents to the terms of the contract. The offeree must also do so in the way specified by the contract. A contract can be terminated if the offeree does not accept in a reasonable time or fails to do so in the correct manner. Number three, consideration. Another important aspect of a contract creation is consideration. This is a legal term of art that stands for the value exchange between the parties. Consideration can be a monetary in nature or can be satisfied by making of a promise. Contract preparation problems can arise when, uh, when the amount of consideration is insufficient. Courts look to see if, other, if there is a legal detriment to the offeree in order to analyze this element. When consideration is lacking, the court may invalidate the contract. Number four, the party's intentions. Beyond the offer and acceptance, the party must demonstrate an intent to be bound by the contract. Essentially, there must be proof that the parties wish to create a legal relationship with each other. This relationship needs to be based on a clear understanding of the terms and obligations involved. Both parties must also enter into relationship freely. If a party is coerced or unfairly persuaded, the contract can be unenforceable. Number five, other key aspects. The above element only covers some of the main aspects of a valid contract. In reality, contract preparation will be a lot more complex. Business contracts should be prepared by an experienced lawyer who is familiar with the business law. An enforceable contract can seriously hamper your bottom line. Don't take risks if trying to create contracts on your own. Another topic is corporate efforts to do just business, theorizing public private regulation in private law. Enforcement is through extensive monitoring programs, which are intrusive as any created by governments. These sanctions are not the stuff of contract breach. They resemble more the form of legislative or administra administrative management under the public law codes. Corporate codes are, co are capable of creating a private law obligation in the form of public self-commitment as well as by directly integrating into the contract. The follow-up question arises as, the part, as to the particular character of this obligation and the precise way in which it can be enforced. There are also contributions in the corporate codes. Literature that describe the corporate codes 
as few self-regulatory standards that by means of incorporation introduce a new regulatory dimensions into contracting process. Finally, when scrutinizing unfair commercial practices law, it was revealed that corporate codes could possibly qualify as codes of conduct in the sense of unfair commercial practices law. That's all. Thank you.